Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. In today's video, I will show you guys how to completely restore your HTC One to Stock Sense 5. It's going to be like back to the day when you bought your device from one of the carriers. Now, if your phone is unlocked and rooted, this process will unroot and relock your device. This method works to restore pretty much any problem with your phone back to factory default. For instance, a bricked phone can be fixed this way. Now to complete the process, you will need to download two files. So let's head on over to my website and look at the two files you will need to download. Then we'll switch over to the phone and show you what to do. Now before we get those two files though, I want you to take a look at this. I am turning off my phone and I'm going to boot into uh, the bootloader mode. Now when you look at the phone carefully on the top you'll say you'll see that it says tampered and unlocked. So both of those two things are going to disappear once we're done with this process. Okay? All right, so let's go ahead and download the two files that we need. I want you to go to my website, SakiTechOnline.com, and then I want you to click Downloads. From here, the first thing I want you to download is the first link up here that says ADT Bundle for Windows, which is right here. So start, start downloading this one. I'm going to show you why you need this one um, in a second. Number two, go back to my website and click the one that says HTC1 RUU files and that's going to take you to this website. Now basically what RUU files are they stand for ROM update utility. It's an executable file that installs a ROM on your device. In this case it will install the stock ROM with HTC Sense that your phone came with the day you purchased your phone. Now when you're on this website, you need to carefully scrutinize all these links because one of them belongs to your phone. Now in my case, I have an AT&T phone. So when I look here carefully, I see a singular RUU. So this is the one I'm going to be downloading. Okay, so just click that and click download. Now if you have, if you're in Europe or Asia or... um. If you're if you going through the Brightstar US, in other words, if you have the Developer Edition HTC, this is what you want to do. Go ahead and download. Okay. Now, I, as I said, I have AT&T, so I'm going to download the one that says Singular, which used to be AT&T back in the days. So download this file and then go to this website and download the ADT bundle for Windows. And now I'm going to switch back over to my HTC One, and then we're going to put the HTC One in fast boot mode, and we're going to come back to computer and finish the process. Okay, so you can go ahead and you can connect your micro USB cable to your phone and your phone to your computer, and then shut off the phone, power it off, and we're going to go into the bootloader mode first. So volume down and power at the same time for a couple seconds. Bam. We're in the bootloader mode. After here, what we want to do is we want to go to fast boot mode, which is the, the blue highlight. So to go into the mode, to select the mode, you will use volume up and down. Okay. To select the mode, you press power. So if I press power here, it's going to go into fast boot mode and you can see the red highlight. Okay? So now you can actually leave your phone alone. We're going to come back right back to the computer. Okay, so once you have downloaded all the files that you need to download and you have put your phone into fast boot mode, let's go and do what we have to do. So this is my downloads folder. This is the R UU file that we just downloaded and this is the ADT bundle that we downloaded. So go into ADT bundle, keep digging in, go to SDK platform tools and here you'll see fast boot and that's what we need. 
So what I want you to do here is bring your mouse to a white area here. Press shift and hold it on your keyboard and right click. And then click open command window here. Okay. And then once you do that, just to verify that your phone is in fact connected to your computer and the fast boot mode is active, you can type in fast boot devices and you'll get a tiny little response right here some random numbers and it says fast boot that's good news that means your phone is in fact connected to your computer the next step is to actually lock your bootloader using this command window so in the beginning we unlocked our bootloader and we rooted our phone and all that jazz now we have to lock the bootloader before we can run the RUU file. So to lock it, just type in fast boot OEM space lock. After you do this, click enter. As soon as you click enter, your phone is going to restart. Now, I'm not going to click enter here because I don't need to um, bring my phone back to the factory settings but after after this this is a very simple process so like I said you type this in and you press enter once you press enter your phone is going to reboot after the reboot process is complete on your phone shut off your phone and go back into the fast boot mode like I showed you before and then keep your phone in fast boot mode okay and uh, let me just clear this once you once you go back into fast boot mode you can do fast boot devices one more time just to make sure that your phone is in fact connected to your computer and it's communicating now after you do that you get out of this command screen you go back to downloads and you click RUU executable file once you click this thing You're going to see the setup screen popping up. And this is what you will see. Okay? And just click this tick mark and then click next. And the whole process is going to start. There's nothing else you have to do from this point on forward. Just remember before you run the RUU file you have to relock your bootloader to relock your bootloader you just go to that command window I just showed you and type in fast boot space OEM space lock and then your phone reboots you put your phone back into fast boot mode then you come back here and you run this ROM update utility and you click next and you'll be done that's all there is to it it's gonna take a while this is a big file but uh, th there's nothing else you have to do so that's all if you have any questions put them down in the comments section or on my website and uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos give me a thumbs up if you like this video and you can also go to my website and under the menu HTC unlock and root which is right here you can find all my videos on routing and unlocking your HTC One device. Alright, thank you and uh, have a good day now.